Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up, the first tune-up of 2012. We've had a long holiday run this year. Seems like it's gone on for a little while. We just got through with New Year. And I tell you what, as we start out this new year, the biggest thing that I want to share with you is an experience I just had on New Year's Day. You know, we're talking a lot about what's changing in the world, what's happening in the world, what's going on that's not good. And a lot of times we look at authority figures and the authority with our government, our police, our, our army, our navy, what's really going on. We're hearing a lot about the advent of martial law and the loss of power within our constitutional rights. But I had an experience this last weekend, in fact on New Year's Day, New Year's Day evening, it was pretty enlightening. I had the opportunity to ride along with one of our sheriff's deputies for his entire shift for that evening. And I discovered some things I was unaware of on what really goes on out here in the world and what is in the minds of some of these people that are driving around in these police cars. And I had my eyes open and I have to say I was impressed. First of all, they were very young and they were very smart and they had good hearts and they have good intentions. Now they haven't sold me on the idea that they're good and, and they're not up to shenanigans. That wasn't even the question. When I saw the work that they were doing in the field with drug dealers, with people that are living on the fringe, of how they treat these people, how they look at them, and what their intentions are to help turn these people around, my heart was opened up a little bit to them. Now the young man that I was riding with has a family himself, he's a new father, and I was really impressed with him and his partner. These people have good intentions, they realize that some people are very misfortunate in the way that life has treated them and the way they have treated life. And I heard some counseling and some therapy in the field in the middle of the night out on a highway with young people that was some of the best stuff I've ever heard. I think it would be a good idea for many of you to take a look at what I did and maybe do the same thing. You might be surprised and have new confidence in not only your police force and what's going on with these people to help protect all of us and also protect those criminals. Yeah, they got to protect them from themselves. And I have a renewed faith in our young people. There was a time when I was wondering if they were going to be okay. But I tell you what, the young people I met that are all wearing badges now and driving around in $80,000 police cars were pretty impressive. And they're good people. They have a great sense of humor. They take their job serious. They don't take themselves serious. And they're doing good work. And they're working really hard. And compared to the sacrifice they make to keep all of us safe and what they get out of it, I was shocked to hear this young man tell me very rarely anybody ever tells them they do a good job or they appreciate them. He says very rarely they ever led to feel good about what they do when they go someplace and eat, that they're taunted, made fun of. I think that's a shame. I think we better take a look at this stuff ourselves and take a look at ourselves and maybe put ourselves in there with one of these guys driving around in their car for an evening or an afternoon and look at what they're looking at. And what they're, what they're looking at is completely different than what I thought they were. They're not out to get you. They're out to protect you. So as we start this new year, I think there's going to be some great eye-opening experiences this year in this country. I believe as 2012 comes to a close when we hit that December 21st, I'm not so sure it's going to be the end of the world, but I believe by that time and when it comes, we're going to have wider eyes opened. We're going to be understanding things at a deeper spiritual level. And I'm asking each one of you to take this year that's sitting in front of us right now, brand new, where we haven't messed it up yet, 
and make some big decisions for your family, for your spiritualization, for the people that you're in effect in your life and you have influence over, and do the right thing. And by doing the right thing, that means think before you speak. That means open up your heart. Do not rumor, do not gossip, and allow yourself to feel love and appreciation for this beautiful place we live and protect it. And go right along with a cop. You might be surprised at what you find out. So as we start this new year, this is Dr. Gary wishing you a happy new year, and here we go. Until tomorrow, bye-bye.